Hi so guys, how's it going? So I'm actually just getting a bunch of stuff done around the house right now. Kids are already home from school and Carly's ballet teacher canceled class because she's not feeling good so we don't have to go anywhere tonight which is kind of nice because I'm in the middle of doing, like I said, laundry, washing bed sheets, so I have to make some beds and all that good stuff and it's rainy outside so it's just the perfect day to chill and hang out. So I actually got Andrew's taxes done and he's getting a pretty nice refund. So he's actually going to use his tax refund to go buy his own camera. He's really enjoying working on his own channel and it's uh, links below. I am Drew. I think he's, he has like five or six videos now on his channel. What are you doing? Taking a bath. Taking a bath? At three o'clock in the afternoon? Why? With the light off? You're weird. I have to say one of the things I'm most excited about with moving is getting rid of these bunk beds. We've had them, gosh, I guess since whenever Chase has been out of a crib, we got these bunk beds and I think oh there's actually a part here on the bottom that pulls out into a bed <laughs> for the longest time Chase actually used to sleep down there because he did not want to uh, sleep up like high at the top so he'd sleep on the bottom so the top we just used to throw a bunch of stuff up there all the time but I mean look at this is pretty sad guys look at Blake's mattress it's like has this hump right there the boys need new mattresses, new beds. We'll probably take their dressers with us. They're fairly new, so the dressers are still in pretty good shape. But definitely ditching the bed and getting them both new beds for their new room. And here they share a closet, so half of their stuff has to get folded. And all their stuff's just like crammed together with hardly any room. So I know they're excited to have their own closets as well. It's just going to be so nice. But at the same time, the idea of having to pack all this stuff up and move it is not very fun. Or not going to be very fun, I should say. But so I'm going to go ahead and make this bed. And then I'm going to probably get dinner going. So we're out at our property. You can see the main road down there. We pulled our car in part way. This is the beginnings of our driveway finally. These are the, I wonder why there's two of them. Because they're both going in. Oh, they're doing it that wide, this wide? 40 feet. Wow, that's pretty wide. Yeah, I, I mean, you. this is enough for two cars. Yeah, but you got to have a wide enough corner. Huh. See, this, when I came out here earlier, this is all that was down. Oh, uh, was like that gravel stuff? Wow, this is, it feels shorter now. Like we're to the creek already. That's not really that far. Well, first of all, it, it used to be down that side, remember? Yeah. That's not bad. I'm really fashionable with my capri sweats and my boots. Those pups are going to drop in probably from there to here. And then we're going to be able to drive over them into the mess. <laughs> Look at that mess. That's the mess. Isn't it weird how when you look, it looks like the trees only go like so far and then it looks like they stop. Mm -hmm. But they really don't. Yeah. Once this gets in and we clear out that, this one, the thing's going to start saying crazy. Look yeah. at this already. We have a driveway. We have some ugly trees left, like that one. I actually I was going to tape that one. <laughs> and it's snowing. Yep. You can barely see it in April. You get a treat when you go to look at the house. Kids didn't want to <laughs> come. They didn't want to come, so look at what they missed out on. No treats. Don't for the tell kids. them. <laughs> no treats for the chitlins. Hi, everyone. So. A lot of you guys have been asking me to show you Pipsqueak because you guys haven't seen him in a while. Well, you know, looks the same, smells the same. 
Oh wait, he smells so bad that we need to clean his cage today. So you guys are on a journey with us. So if you have not seen Pipsqueak before, this is Pipsqueak. I'm gonna tell you a few thingies about him. So this is Pipsqueak. He's gray, brown, orangish, and he is a teddy bear hamster. Well, actually, Pipsqueak, the last time, not last time, the time we got him was like over a year and a half ago. Come back, and actually, we're gonna put him down. A known fact is, Pipsqueak ran, it's kinda like running away, ran away like two times, he escaped his cage, because that's what hamsters do, they like to escape. And Pipsqueak, we don't, nobody really knows hamsters official births, 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 uh, so we made, well I made because he's my hamster, I made him a birthday, just randomize, sounded like a good day, so his birthday is July 16th. I've said that to a lot of people, so that is his new birthday. So. If your birthday is July 16th, comment down below and you are very lucky because you, you share a birthday with my hamster. And actually, when we first got him, as you can tell I said him, we thought it was a girl, but that's why it's Pipsqueak, as in a girl name, Pipsqueak, Pipsqueak, Pipsqueak is not a boy name, Squeak just makes it sound girly so we took out the word squeak and now i call him pip or mr pip but i usually just call him pip squeak because obviously he doesn't care because he can't talk and hamsters usually don't have feelings and as you know all hamsters really do is run on a wheel and if you thought about it if you were a hamster wouldn't that be so boring you had one activity to do no trampolines no gymnastics no dance basketball baseball football wrestling lacrosse any of that all you get to do is run on a wheel ay 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 well actually the food that pipsqueak eats are these huge little chunks whatever those are called they're those little chunks i'll point them out if you don't know what i'm talking about like this is what I'm talking about as large little chunks. That is his like main food course. And as a snack, but is also good for him, we have snack mix, which is all kinds of stuff like corn, seeds, sunflower seeds, and all kinds of stuff. And then of course, this comes in the snack mix and he definitely hates them more than anything. Oh yeah, and if you like the way we designed this cage, all we did is got a huge Rubbermaid container and then the lid, we took a one razor thingy out of know, and we cut these out of the top. So he was able to breathe and we did that. And then over here we made a hole to put the water dispenser through. So actually the first time he escaped, there was a water bottle on the inside of it, but that's how he escaped, he crawled up it and got out so that's why we had to get rid of that oh my gosh guys this is so unbelievable i was pouring hamster food and there's literally a peanut in it so i'm gonna take that out i'm gonna show that to my mom and then i'll put it back in to see if it eats it so guys this is the finished product of pipsqueak's cage so here's the front you can see everything from right there so yeah wonderful so let's go put him where he belongs so, but that's it for today. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video. And the question of the day is, if you had a hamster, what color would it be? And what would you name it? And if you know, what kind of hamster would you want it? Mine is a teddy bear hamster. It's orange, brown, whitish, blackish, brownish, a whole bunch of mix of colors. <gasps> Poop and Laffy Face and Devil and the heart one is back there somewhere. <laughs> well, and if you do have a hamster, what colors are it? What's its name? And if you know what breed of hamster, I don't know what it's called, but bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's like prepping for it. Um.
Come on, Shangabut. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Right there on the table. Let him hit the little there. piece. Hey, uh, he wants dinner. Yeah. Say, give me some dinner. <laughs> Say, where's my pot sticker? Where's give it at, Shaggy? Give the outside piece, because this isn't the best part. <laughs> Shaggy's gonna join us at dinner every day. All right, who's ending the video for today? I already did. Oh, you ended it too? It's probably not very oh. So hi guys, it's Carly. I posted a new video on my Carly Reese channel. Please check it out.